Hi coloring friends and welcome back! So in today's video I have a kind of tag video for you. Last year I participated in the tag 10 books to start in 2021 and um, this year I wanted to adjust this a little bit to 5 to start and 5 to continue in 2022. And uh, if you like and if you have a channel, please join in and make also your own video for that. So I'm going to start with five books or artists that I want to start to color in in 2022. And uh, one of these artists is actually Anastasia Ellie called the River. I own two of her books, as you already saw in the preview right now. And um, you know I love to color people and portraits and uh, she has most probably some of the most beautiful um, yeah, portraits and figure drawings <clears throat> and this no she has a new one out um, which I don't own but I also have the PDF book from her and from time to time she shares a freebie also on her webpage so um, yeah, I just want to get started to finally color something from Anastasia Ali Calder River in this year. So this is one of the artists that I want to tackle this year. Then the second artist or second book that I want to start this year is Chris Ortega. And from her I only possess this one book, so A Colorless Kingdom, Volume 1, but it might come out a second one, who knows? And um, yeah, this is also people and portraits and fantasy. And uh, yeah, I absolutely adore her art. I know her for many years for her beautiful um, art books and art or illustrations that she uh, did. Um, I could actually show you uh, some of the art books maybe. But yeah, I was a fan of her for a long, long time actually. And then only last year I discovered that she brought out a coloring book and um, yeah, I love all of her illustrations and uh, I wanted to start this um, last year but I didn't manage so this year I want to focus on this book and at least start to color one page of it. So I thought I would just quickly show you those um, art books which I had mentioned. Um, these are illustrations by Chris Ortega and she brought out those um, little art books um, displaying or showcasing her um, art and um, yeah I was a fan of that a long time ago and then we had a little bit of a story next to it. So and um, I've got three of those and then she had one or two others. So and yeah I just adore her art and let me just quickly show you um, a few of her works. And then the third one in this series was this one. I think the third one was actually my absolute favorite of those uh, images here. Absolutely stunning artwork. So the third artist from which I would love to color more is Gracia Salvo. And uh, from Grazia, I don't own any of her books, but I got quite a few of her PDF coloring pages. And I know her from the beginning, so since 2018, I collect some of her images and I have never colored one of them. And that I would like to change this year and to finally get done with my first Grazia Salvo page. And the fourth um, artist is Fabiana Trere, and uh, I own one of I, I own one Coloring Heaven issue in which she was featured, and um, later I found out that she has an Etsy shop in which she sells pages digitally, and I'm I absolutely love this image here. That's why I have it printed actually, and um, I I must color this image this year. <laughs> Uh, most is not the right word, but I really um, want to color this one this year 
I also have a few others of her beautiful um, pages and as I said the coloring have an issue but I think uh, this is the one that I really would like to get started with this year and and the fifth one is actually a series of book books, uh, the Missographic series. Um, I like the ones by Fabiana um, Atanasio. I also like the ones by Joseph Kattenbang, but uh, from Fabiana I have a few more. And um, yeah, we have those uh, whimsical fantasy, full of fantasy like images in those books. Um, I adore them, they are quite um, detailed but very very beautiful and um, as I have a few of those misographic, misographic books I just want to get started with them this year and um, I have started a page but uh, I have not finished one page yet and I really adore this image here so or I could at least uh, finish the started whip that I have in this book, um, which is here. <laughs> so I just want to get done with at least one page from the series. And I'm actually eyeing, eyeing <laughs> the new one. Oh, this one I also very love with the frogs and the lanterns. It's absolutely beautiful. I love, I love this art. Um, yeah, I don't like the hidden objects, but I think I would just maybe um, yeah, treat it as if they weren't there, if possible. And um, yeah, we will see. And I thought in those books I could try to color more with the ink tents, uh, which is one of my goals this year. I really want to use the ink tents a lot more to get pages done more quickly. And uh, I think those book would, books would be perfect for that, um, t uh, for this goal, so to speak. So these were my five artists and books or book series to start in 2022. And now I will show you five books or artists to continue to color in or to, um, to color more from in 2022. And the first book that I'm showing you is Mouse Guard by David Peterson. Um, I have started to call in this book last year. I did my first page and I enjoyed it. Uh, but I didn't manage to color actually more from this book. But I absolutely adore this book. I love it. <coughs> I love this sketchy style here and uh, I absolutely want to do more in this book. I would also prefer to color with the um, ink tents in this book and um, yeah, this is something that I want to concentrate on and to focus on and I hope with this um, target or with this goal um, that I would actually uh, do it. Then the second artist from which I would love to do more is Hannah Carlson. Um, I own quite a few of her books. Um, I have only colored in one so far, so in The Magical Dawn, but uh, I have whips on this book, so I absolutely want to, um, this was one finished one, to do more from her. This is a whip that I'm working on. Still, that I need to finish, and my favorite book of hers is her last one, the Hexen Stuga. Um, no, no, I can't come up with the English name. No, <laughs> this is my absolute favorite. So, and for this year, I really want to color a face by Hannah Carlson. So, Hannah Carlson, Hannah Carlson is the second artist from which I want to work more this year. Um, then the third artist is actually Jana Prasririna and um, I have only colored two images by her and as you can see the last time that I have colored a page by uh, Jana Prasririna is in 2018 and since then I have not colored one of her images even though I would say that she's one of my um, even though I would say that she's one of my favorite artists 
And The Witched Season is also one of the books that I um, especially love uh, from her. I love all her witch um, designs and illustrations. And I'm also a Patreon of her, so I get a new image every month to color, actually. But it seems I never do it. And um, first I had all her books only as PDF versions. Um, but as I never um, colored in them, I thought maybe when I buy the books, the physical books, maybe I would uh, color more. But this didn't happen so far. This one is... Um, a Calling Heaven Junior magazine from last year. So these um, illustrations are quite new and I love all those cute witch, witches and autumn scenes here. And uh, Whimsical Darlings, Everyday Magic is one of her latest um, coloring books that she released also last year. And yeah, it also has those cute characters in it. And um, it would fit for all the seasons, so we have autumn, but also Easter type of pages or spring-like pages, so... Um, Jana Prasurina, I really want to call more of her. The last images I call it when 2018, that is a long time ago, and I really love this artist, so... I need to tackle this this year and focus on this artist. Then another artist that I absolutely adore is um, Selena Fennec and I own quite many of her books and but I color her um, not enough for my taste so especially I would like to continue in uh, those type of illustrations here that are yeah, not the cute style but the normal more realistic style. This is one of the images that I have done and I really uh, would love to get done with the next page with this one. Um, I just love her illustration. And then some of her latest books are my favorites so I think that she gets better every time that she releases a book. Um, and that the diversity in them is getting um, bigger and bigger. So we, own, we also have men's, for example. Men, sorry. And monsters. Uh, women in different sizes, so to speak. So not only the very skinny ones, but also with some curves. That's actually really nice. I would love to get done with this um, portrait here. Oh, this for example <laughs> and she has more she also has brought out a new mermaid um, book which I only own as a digital version but this mermaid I really would like to get to color something from that book and the fairy magic is also one of her older ones but one of my favorites actually from her older ones that I this page I really adore so it has so beautiful pages in it. So this year I really want to focus on Selena Fennec and color at least one page. <laughs> uh, yeah, at least one. And then the last artist from which I want to color more this year is Mystic Art Mirrors. I can only show you a few finished pages now because I buy most of her books as PDF versions and I don't have printed some now. Um, oh, I was lazy to grab them. <laughs> I also own two of her physical books. But I actually enjoy uh, her latest books quite a bit, so I want to work in those. She also brought out a new fairy tale book, which is stunning. Um, she has it in grayscale and I think the line art um, also maybe just came out. So, however, Mystic Art Mirrors uh, is one of those that I really, 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 really need to do more from. Um, she is one of my favorite artists and I think the last one that I colored, yeah, okay, the last one was this one in last year. 
but this was a whip that I just uh, finished last year so and since then I actually haven't um, done anything. So, however, um, this is all for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, don't forget if there is any other color tuber who would like to join in on this tag. Um, yeah, please share it with us and let me know if you do a video so that I can own, also um, watch it. And um, done. Uh, I hope I will see you all in my next video. Take care everyone. Happy coloring. Bye.